This is a distance learning course between three classroom sites, University of Washington in Seattle, the Microsoft campus in Redmond, and Lahore University of Management Science in Pakistan. Conference XP was used for real-time video conferencing between the sites, and Classroom Presenter was used on tablet PCs and laptops to allow students to contribute their ideas to the classroom discussion. And it just happened that uh, the course was uh, scheduled at 6 p.m. at Washington, Seattle, which happened to be 6 a.m. in Pakistan, a little early for most university students. Uh, but the course created such excitement at LAMS that a lot of people would turn up an hour early for the class. This was a great way, certainly, for all three sites to have some interaction between students, for example, for the students at UW to know what the students at Microsoft were thinking, or for the students at Microsoft to know what the students at Pakistan were thinking. First of all, what do you think is compelling for how technology can help the smallholder farmer? And second of all, are there any applications that I've missed in my list? So please go ahead and spend a few minutes jotting down solutions and then we'll go over and summarize. The advantages of using ink were it's a very natural input. This was a really easy way for even shy students to get their voice heard without having to speak up in a classroom. The anonymity was a really nice feature. Something that's being identified on this is an area that I didn't touch on at all is tying this into things like satellite imagery and taking kind of the global information and identifying ways that this can be brought back to the local level. Pakistan class um, really uh, contributed um, in exactly the same way as the other, uh, other sites. So they were contributing over the video link and through the tablet PCs. Uh, but we're also able to provide first, uh, first-hand experiences as well. The fact that the tablets could assimilate all the slides, all the responses which people wrote, and it could be shared among all the students. That made the experience wonderful. And the different backgrounds coming together in a classroom, as well as the excitement of being able to engage with, with foreign audience, both the students and the lecturers. Yeah, the question to ask is, what role does ICT have in addressing health problems for the poor? The same question can be asked in agriculture. Are you investing in computers? Are you investing in fertilizer? So one distinction that comes up in a lot of the public health questions that, that improvements can benefit everybody. The tablet PCs were really great for types of activities where students needed the flexibility of drawing. It was definitely a useful uh, technology and that it helped the different sites uh, interact on a level playing field. And so as the Minister of Education, what would convince you of that a national laptop initiative was a good idea. So before shelling out the billion dollars on laptops, you've got a couple years to commission studies. What type of studies would you do to convince yourself that this was a good idea? I just want you to quickly jot down kind of the key things that you would ask for study questions, key things for study mechanics. So, you know, the question is, how would you convince yourself that this is a good idea? There's a sort of an excitement to see when the instructor displays your response, uh, and you're also really curious to know how the rest of your classmates answered the question. It was also a very, again, seamless way to submit um, responses. Students can real-time interact with the professor who's sitting half the way across the world uh, so I think there's, there's huge potential in, in such, you know, distance learning courses.